Hello, crochet crafters. Today we're going to make this very, very soft, fuzzy, gorgeous baby blanket. Now this yarn is a uh, soft tricolor, purple, pink, and light pink yarn. You can use whatever color you want as long as it's a baby bulky yarn. And the needle we're using is a L uh, size 11, which is also an 800 millimeter. This is a US size crochet hook. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your yarn onto your crochet hook. If you've never done this before, you wrap it around the back and you hold it through so that it's gonna loop. You wrap it around again and you pull it through. That is not considered a stitch. That's just getting your yarn onto your hook. Now, I always tell everybody to make sure it's not tight or loose, but it just slides. We're going to leave it loose because I'm going to show you why we want to make it. And we want to make our stitches a little looser. So go ahead and stitch 56 with this, and that will make a baby blanket size. Now, if you are not using the same size hook or you're not using the same size yarn, you need to go measure the crib or use the standard size crib and use a ruler so that when you're doing your stitches, you make sure that your stitches equal the size of the crib. Now, you're always going to do equal stitches. So if you do 56, you do 56, 78, 50, 60, 66, that kind of thing. So whatever stitches you need to do, make sure they are even numbers. So for tutorial purposes, this is not the blanket that I finished. For tutorial purposes, I'm only gonna, gonna stitch six. If you want to go ahead and pause me, I'm, well, I mean, I'm chaining six, rather. If you wanna pause this and chain the number that you need, you can do that. 56 should do it for this size yarn and hook. But again, if you've never crocheted, you wrap it around, you hold your tail, which is your end piece, you pull it through. You wrap it around, the tail is the end piece, pull it through. Two, three, leave it loose. Four, five, six. And once you've gotten to your 56, which we'll pretend my six is, you're gonna add three more to whatever your even number is. One, two, three. The reason you're adding three more is the one that's on your hook is not counting as a stitch. The one in, and then you're going to work into that third one. And the reason that you're doing that is that's going to make your corner. When you pull it up, it's the corner of your blanket. So that's not considered stitches. So once you've added those extra three, you're going to do a double crochet into that third one. And if you want to count, if you don't want to count this one, it's going to be the second one over. If you count this one, it's the third one over. Does that make sense? If you're counting this stitch on your hook, it's the third one over. If you're not counting this stitch, it's the second one over. So wrap it around once, slide it through, pull the yarn, and you should have three on your hook. One, two, three. Wrap it around. Pull it through just the first two, then you have two. Wrap it around again. And that is a USA double crochet stitch. Now, in order to get this pattern right here that I have with the little holes, you're going to do a, another double crochet stitch into that same stitch we just worked. So there's a double crochet in there and that stitch. You're gonna wrap it around put it through, wrap it around, slide it through the first two, wrap it around, slide it through the second two. Now, that should all have happened, those two double crochets in that same stitch. When you're done with that, you're gonna chain one. Then you're gonna look down here, you're gonna skip that next stitch next to the one you just worked in and then you're gonna to go to the next stitch and you're gonna wrap around and do two double crochets into that stitch. And the reason you made sure you left these loops nice and loose is so that it doesn't grab and pull 
your blanket, you want to make sure your initial 56, you know, um, chains that you did are not tight. Otherwise, this would be really too tight down here for the blanket. So chain one, skip one, skip the next stitch, and go into the one next to it. Now, the pattern is two double crochets, chain one, skip a stitch, two double crochets. So let's talk about it again. Two double crochets, chain one, skip a stitch down here, and I should be, and now once you've, if you've done exactly what I've showed you how to do with the even numbers with your 56 and then adding three and then going back into it, you should, when you come to the end, you should come to the very last stitch, you should be able to use that stitch. So if you want to finish your first row of your baby blanket, you want to pause me and come back to see how you turn the row, you can do that and I'll be right here. So I'm going to go and do my two double crochets, again, American double crochets, into that last stitch. And if you have, I don't know if you are familiar with end pieces or tails, but those of you have, who make blankets know that this is a tail. I grab it with my piece of yarn, and so when I'm wrapping it back into those two cr double crochets, I'm actually wrapping that yarn back in. So you see, I just worked my tail in. Now there's a little piece right there, but because I've worked it in, it's nice and tight, I can just cut that right there. So when you get to the end like this, on your baby blanket, you're gonna chain two. And again, that's your corner. You're always chaining two when you're turning. When you turn, you can see in between where you've added that chain, there is a loose stitch, okay? So in between these loose stitches here, you are going to go in between the stitches. But for this one right here, this is one, two. You're gonna start in this one. You're gonna do a double crochet. Again, chaining one. And do you see in between these? So you're not going into the stitches up here, you're going in between the two double crochets. So you're gonna go down in there, pick it up, double crochet, pick it up, Double crochet, see that's making a really nice pattern now. Chain one, and you should be doing this all the way across for your baby blanket. One more, so it's two double crochets, chain one, skip a tip stitch, two double crochets, chain one, skip a stitch. So this is what I needed to show you when you get to the end. When you've done to the second row here, of course, we're going to cut this little tag off so you don't have to worry about that. But there's only one. See how this is only one crochet here? You've got your two doubles. That's okay. You're going to go into that one. So you're going to go down into the space where you have that, and you're going to pull it up. And you're going to do one and then two. So you see, still has a nice even edge. Then you're gonna chain two. And I'm gonna help you one more time with the edge of the next one. So, because I want your blanket to have a nice edging, so I wanna make sure I go through that with you a couple of times. So again, where are we gonna go? Not through here, not through here. We're gonna go through that space that you made with the chain. So at the end, if you always chain two, and in the, and the, and during the work, you always chain one in between each one. So chain two at the end and one when you're doing work. So you're gonna chain one, 
and now you're skipping that. I know it's two stitches now, but now that you've gone from here, you're going to the skip two all the time and go through the middle of where you left open from the previous line that you worked. Chaining one. And again, your blanket's gonna be much bigger than this. This is just a, for your sample purposes so that you can see going across. And my yarn is a little stuck on this, guys, so. But the corners can be a little tricky because the fact is when you get to these corners, they're not the same as the double stitch. So here we are again at the end of our row and you're going, oh, I'm at the end of my row. There's, there's not two doubles at the end. So just remember when you get to the end, it's not gonna be a double. It's just gonna be that, that stitch of two that you pulled over and up. So when you go in, you go into that last one. There's no, there's no double there. There's just the end piece. And believe me, it's gonna be okay because when you pull up the two like this, you're still going to do two stitches. It's going to be okay. Because it's going to be a nice, straight, flat edge. And just like you have on the other side. So every time you turn the corner, it's just going to have that one at the end that you have to, to, to get to to make sure you have that nice edge like you have. And you'll be able to make a beautiful baby blanket. So please... Look for me on Etsy at laurieshandywork.com. I have some really great crochet cards that I've been making there. And this is just like one of the ones that I make with the, and they're actual cards that you can send to people. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that next time. And, um, you know, if you like it, uh, save me on YouTube or like me on YouTube. I'd appreciate it and have a great day.